Hi there, we're Bo and Brandy, and this is our Salty Pup Una. Today, we're picking up anchor here at Illicat and taking our little home on the water around to the other side of the island to one of our favorite places in the Caribbean, Petite Nevis. From here, we get to explore the other side of Illicat and see what it has in store for us. What we weren't expecting to come across here are some of the most venomous creatures under the sea. But stay tuned to see how we catch and cuff these destructive and dangerous invaders. It's so good! about ready to get going. I just need to finish these guys. Well, I'm gonna let, I gotta put up the stern anchor and once I let that up, we're gonna really start rocking and rolling. Skeeto City. <laughs> I didn't get him. So we have decided that we're leaving this anchorage. It's amazingly beautiful. We've had a couple good days and the wind switched to the south. So now it's coming right into the bay and we are getting a lot of rock and roll. When we first got here, it was okay, but, and Bo put out a stern anchor, but last night it felt like the stern anchor was lifting up the main anchor. Actually, I found out the reason the snubber came undone. It did? I thought that's what you asked it when we well, got out there. I don't know. What was it like? Three in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was doing out there. <laughs> Other than getting bit by mosquitoes. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I checked it this morning and uh, it was just dangling in the water. Oh, <laughs> uh, well that makes sense. But even so, there is a little anchorage just around the corner from here. So we'll have protection from the south wind that we're getting the next couple of days and we can dive the other side of the island which we found out from our friend should be a pretty good spot for some lobsters. Boona bear is ready. How many times are you gonna tie that? <laughs> no more runaway dinghies. Don't want a repeat. Although we'll be going even slower today. Yes, we always go slower when we motor. Everything's pretty much put away as though we were sailing, but we are gonna be motoring. I actually have the main pretty much ready. We'd have to undo this and unzip it. Everything else is ready. Okay. Just in case. Emergency. Emergencies. But uh, can you grab me my hat real quick? Sure. We're still debating on where we should go, the inside or the outside. We've decided that we're gonna go to Petite Nevis, which I don't think it's gonna fit with <laughs> fun. We were there last year and Petite Nevis is one of our favorite anchorages. It's a tiny little anchorage. We didn't have any problems with mosquitoes last year, so let's hope this year is just the same. I am gonna raise anchor. Okay. All right, here we go. We decided to go around the back end. Whoa. Oh, these waves are ridiculous. <laughs> They're so awesome. Too bad we don't surf. Uh, I don't know if you're surfing that right into the reef. But we're gonna go around the back end of this reef because when we were dinging around, just snorkeling, we noticed that there's a lot of seaweed on the east side. So there wasn't so much on the back end. Hopefully we don't foul our problem. But if we do, we know how to get around. What a gem of an 
island. Such a gym. Too bad it's owned by mosquitoes. We did see a couple goats. They must be renters. They're renters. They're paying in blood. So right here is the other side of the island and that's actually where we were thinking about anchoring but our friends did let us know who had been here before that it's a little bit of a deep spot and they only stopped for lunch. So I think we're gonna head on over to Patinivas. There is a catamaran over there already but we've seen a couple of boats there in the past so I think we'll be okay. It's a very tiny anchorage though. What are you doing? I am mixing up coconut core for our composting toilet. This is probably the longest part of this process. Double tasking. Yeah. At its finest. <laughs> it's either this or editing. I think I, I, dirt. <laughs> I, think I need a, a yeah, break from editing. Because we're motoring and there's about a whisper of a breeze, <laughs> we can switch the solar panels to bring in more power. That's the best thing about having these solar panels. One of the best things. We're burning power, but not as much as if we had those flat. Right? Yes. All right, we made it, but first Bo needs to jump in and check the anchor because last time we were here, I'm pretty sure we actually had to set the anchor. Didn't you have to like Superman set the anchor? Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty rocky down there. There's no real sand patches, so you kind of have to create your own. anxious to get in the water we know the anchor is set we took Una to shore and we've put up all of her shading so it'll be nice and cool in here for her and we ate lunch so I'm ready time to get in the water get in the water go see some fishies and coral and coral and maybe, lobsters maybe some lobsters hopefully hopefully <laughs> Big and <laughs> like a baby. 
We don't take mamas and we don't take babies. <laughs> So we got lucky today. Thankfully. How lucky? Uh, times five lucky. <laughs> five? Five, count them five. Five for the press of one. We got five lion fishies. We could add more, but we don't. <laughs> uh, we were able to catch these guys on the Hawaiian sling just out here, they were all in the same spot, which made it real easy. We just dive down, get one, put them in the boat, dive down, get another. So, how do you want to make these? Uh, how about tacos? Tacos? But, but we should save some for our ceviche. Okay, Yeah. lionfish tacos it is. And then we can have ceviche tomorrow. Now the painstaking chore of filleting them. Which, it's not too bad. It's like filleting a regular fish. You just gotta be careful not to get poked like I already did earlier. Which, I've been poked before. It stings a little bit, but nothing detrimental. It, filleting them's pretty easy. Uh, most people cut off their spines, but when you have a bunch, it can be a pain in the butt. You can just take scissors and cut them off. I tend to just leave the spines and just flay them like a regular fish and just be extra cautious. I wear a, I wear our glove that's pretty, um, it's pretty puncture proof. Although the back end isn't and when I was pulling one of these guys up today, he was flailing about and he poked me with one of his spines through the top part of this glove. I just flay these guys like normal fish. You know, cut them up at the spine, up at their top ridge, and then follow their headline, go all the way to the belly, and just each side. While Bo is finishing the fish, I'm in charge of doing the flour tortillas. And I'm just doing a coconut flour tortilla. Super easy. Whipping it up. Making the base of the tortillas. Ooh, wow, that's a lot actually. Yeah, decent amount. Didn't take too long to play. Mm -hmm. So, How those tortillas coming out. Well, I, I was quite unaware that I needed to have parchment paper, which we ran out of months ago. <laughs> a while back and I cannot get this to stick or I should say not stick to anything I'm gonna try to pat it out as much as possible but I think we're gonna end up with just ha having a fish salad with some tor tor tortilla strips that sounds good right yeah oh we should just make tortilla strips yeah perfect Ooh. sun's peeking out Well, while you do that, I'm gonna fillet up these, well, not fillet, <laughs> but cook these fish. Just put some butter in the pan, and I'm just gonna 
lightly sear them. Probably about a minute or two each side. Sprinkle a little salt, a little lime juice on them, and that'll be it. Oh, I guess I can make a, Ooh, like a Mexican yes. style dressing. dressing? Yeah. yeah, like mayonnaise dressing. Yeah. So good. that'll be good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Somebody's hungry, huh? Hungry. It's so good. Mmm. The lime on it is perfect. Good. And I like how our little tortillas turned out. <laughs> Join me. Alright, it's been a super long day. And I'm super hungry. And I am too. <laughs> and she's teasing me with <laughs> I haven't tasted it yet. Not together. Yes. Just a little taste here and there. So we're going to end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, guys. Yes. If you guys like this episode, please give us a thumbs up. Comment below. And if you really want to support our channel to grow, please push that subscribe button. It would really, really help us out, and we super appreciate it. And if you guys want to help support the production of these videos, go ahead and become a Patreon. The link's below. And a huge shout-out to all our patrons. Thank you, guys. Thank you, you guys. are amazing. So much for the support. Yes. All right, Bye. guys. Have a great night. See you next Thursday. Bye. Bye. Without my love for the ocean